Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna to be discussing how to use Seakeeper Ride and the Seakeeper Gyro together in unison. The Open 262 is the first model where we've offered both the Seakeeper Ride and the Seakeeper Gyro system. The Seakeeper Ride simply replaces your trim tabs on the boat, if you'd like to see more details on this, you can please click below in the description menu. The Seakeeper Gyro is what everyone's more familiar with. That's the original device that Seakeeper came out with, and it is good for when you're offshore trolling at slow speeds or, say, sitting still bottom fishing. The Seakeeper Ride system simply replaces your trim tabs, takes up no additional space in the boat, it simply stabilizes the boat while you're underway. The Seakeeper Ride System is offered in the vast majority of sportsman boat models, and the Seakeeper Gyro is a great option for our open series models from 26 feet and up. Today, we're on the Open 262, where the Seakeeper One Gyro is housed within the lean-in post, as you can see here. This is not to be confused with the Seakeeper Ride system, which is recessed into the transom with a pocketed design for best possible performance. As a standard, we recommend that you use both systems simultaneously while on the water for optimal performance. However, you can use the systems independently of each other. Some people believe it might be harmful for you to run your Seakeeper Gyro while underway, whereas Seakeeper themselves say, turn it on and leave it on. It will not affect you negatively while running at high speeds and up on plane. So to use the two systems together, simply come up to your Garmin MFD, press the home button, the vessel tab, and you'll notice there's a Seakeeper icon as well as a Seakeeper ride icon. We're first going to enter the Seakeeper Gyro. When you get into the Seakeeper Gyro for the first time, it will have to spool up. Depending between the models, this can take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. On the boat we're on today, you can see it is spooled, so I can simply hit the power button, turn it on, select the stabilizer switch, and it is engaged. For, to use Seakeeper Ride and Seakeeper Gyro together, Seakeeper has incorporated both menus together. So as you can see the ride tab down here in the right corner, you press that, it will take you back to your Seakeeper ride system. Now the Seakeeper ride system is a little more simple than the Seakeeper gyro. When you get on the boat, you turn your key on, it is powered up and ready to go. It requires no spooling and no outside time. When you turn the key, you are off to have a great day on the water. So now that you have both systems powered on and your Seakeeper Gyro is fully spooled up, you are now ready for an extremely stable ride out on the water. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.